Now, I will talk about the kinetic model for adsorption and desorption. So uh, if we look at this diagram, here is the surface. And um, I drew four by four, a total of 16 surface sides. And those red circles are the gas molecules. So we have a total of 10 uh, molecules in the gas phase. And also there are four. These red circles have been adsorbed on the surface. So out of the 16 adsorption sites, four are occupied. And theta is simply the percentage of the occupied sites. 1 minus theta is the percentage of the unoccupied sites. And then at equilibrium, between adsorption and desorption, we have the adsorption rate be equal to the desorption rate. So I'm going to use AD for adsorption and DE for desorption. And we know the adsorption rate is proportional to the pressure or concentration of the gas phase species. It's also proportional to the number of unoccupied sites because adsorption occurs between the unoccupied sites and the gas phase species. Therefore, I'm going to use a, a reaction rate constant here, K sub adsorption times either the concentration or the pressure of the gas phase species, and commonly we use pressure P in times the number of unoccupied sites. Again, one minus theta give you the percentage of the unoccupied sites. So n times one minus theta give you the number of unoccupied sites. Again, n is the total number of sites. So this is the adsorption rate is equal to, again, I'm gonna use K, the rate constant for desorption times, this time it only depends on the number of occupied sites, one, two, three, four. Only this four red circles may undergo desorption. So times n times theta. So over here you get this uh, equation for the equilibrium between adsorption and desorption. And we can immediately see that n and n cancel. So we have K ADP minus K ADP theta is equal to K DE theta. And then we have an equation for theta which is actually the equilibrium theta, the percentage of the occupied sites is equal to, over here, you have KAD times P on top, times pressure on top, and then on the bottom, KAD times P, and then plus KDE. All right, so we can tell from this expression, this equilibrium, percentage of occupied sites is always less than one, and it's always greater than zero. Uh, suppose we have uh, experimental data of this theta and this P, how can we analyze this data? So again, we have to take the reciprocal of both sides. Uh, to do that, I need a bit more space here. So one over theta is equal to 
at equilibrium so that I don't have to put EQ down there. So one over theta is actually this divided by this, that's just one plus KDE over KAD. All right, and immediately we can tell if we use one over theta as our vertical axis or y axis, one over p as our horizontal axis, or the x axis we're looking at y equals the intercept plus slope times x. What's the intercept? Intercept is just one. What's the slope? The slope is the rate constant of desorption divided by the rate constant of adsorption. All right, and sometimes we use a uppercase K to be the ratio between the rate constant of adsorption and the rate constant of desorption. And then you can see this K is simply one over the slope we obtain from this one over theta versus one over P linear plot.